Hey folks, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here. Just coming to you with a quick review on the PBT Warrior fencing mask as well as the overlay. Um, I've been using this in sparring for a while now. I've done quite a few matches with it and it just survived the tournament and I fought eight matches at the tournament. So I figured now would be a good time to do the review. So let's start with the mask. Um, first of all, it has just like regular strap inside. Uh, it's kind of like a two, two pieces of Velcro in here so you can adjust it two ways, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't know how well you can see from the outside really, but there is a reinforcing bar in here, which is nice. You might be able to see it from the front too, I'm not sure. There's a reinforcing bar right here and two that kind of come in to a V like this right here reinforcing this section right here where you're more likely to take some hits. Um, the bib is pretty nice, it's thick, uh, stitched well, very strong. I haven't had any threads coming loose or anything like that. Um, I do have like a little bit of rubbing on the inside, but that's to be expected, I think. Um, so after using this for a while and having, you know, using in the tournament as well as just club sparring, there are no dents anywhere at all. There's like some places where the paint is a little bit scraped off, um, but there are no dents whatsoever. Uh, I'm not positive because this is actually the first mask that I've owned. I've, I've never owned the Absolute Force mask. I figured since I was mostly doing longsword to go with something a little bit heavier. Um, but I think that this grating is a little bit heavier than uh, the Absolute Force Mask. I could, I'm not totally sure on that, I can't say that with certainty, but it seems like it's a little bit heavier to me. Um, and yeah, no dents whatsoever, really happy with it. Um, yeah, so let's just put this on real quick and talk, start talking about some of the mobility and range of motion and stuff like that. So, with just the mask on, um, when I first started using it, I felt like a little bit heavy or restrained, uh, but now that I've used it more, I don't really. I feel pretty pretty free, especially with just the mask. Uh, sight is pretty good. I can see the edges here just a tiny bit, so it takes maybe the like a very very slim chunk off of my periphery. I can just barely see the top bar here, but uh, everything from here down is perfectly fine. I don't really have any issues with vision in this. Um, the padding, you know, does block the ears and the sound a little bit, but it's not really bad. Um, so, hold on just a sec. Okay, there we go. So now, um, using it in guards and stuff like that, uh, no problem here. Uh, even like some of the rear-weighted guards that I like to use, um, it's no problem with just the mask. When you start getting to this much turning, it might, just the bib kind of impedes a tiny bit, but it's really not bad. And it's, you can see it's pretty easy for me to switch back and forth. Not really much problem there. Um, when I put the overlay on, it does start to become a bit of a problem. Um, I only really have the overlay for tournaments and stuff. I don't really feel much need for it in club practice, but in tournaments they require it. One of the nice things about this mask is it comes back pretty far, further than an absolute force mask. So if I, like doing this, I'm still not touching my head at all. Somebody would really have to come around with like a zwerk or something like that and just the tip getting past that rim which could still happen, so the overlay is still not a bad idea. But in my normal club sparring, I don't really feel the need for it, and I don't really wear the overlay. But let's go to the overlay. The overlay is pretty, pretty nice construction. It's got nice soft padding inside. I think more of like, I don't think it's suede. I think it's more of like a brushed leather exterior, something like that. Make sure that you get the right one. This is for the PBT Warrior mask couple of uh, either sound or vent holes by the ears here. Uh, just an elastic band over the front and a Velcro band in the back. 
So we just slip this on over, adjust that elastic band in the front, and then do up this Velcro in the back. Very simple, um, no, no messing around. Uh, it does start to impede the ears a little bit more. I, it does, maybe, let's see, if I really pull it back, I can barely see the edges of the overlay past where the helmet normally goes, so it takes a tiny, tiny fraction of a bit more off the periphery, but not much really. Um, the problem that I have with this overlay is that um, once, because of this back plate here, if you like to fence in some of the guards that I like to do that are rear weighted or are really side facing the opponent, this does start to get a little tricky. It's doable, but I like to be as free as possible while I'm fencing, and I don't really love that I have to kind of like work at it to, to get there. I'm getting more used to it and it's not becoming, it's not as much of a problem anymore, but it does if you like some of these rear rated stances or side facing stances where you really have to turn your head, um, it does become a little bit of a problem. It's not undoable, but it makes it a little bit harder. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the PBT Warrior fencing mask and overlay. Um, Safety-wise, I think it's really good. I think this padding in the overlay and just the sturdiness of the mask. I've never, especially while wearing the overlay, never felt like I got my bell rung or anything like that. There have been a couple times of wearing just the mask where, uh, you know, somebody lost a little bit of control and hit a little bit hard. And I don't think it was a concussion or anything like that or even close, but I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but with this on, I've barely felt head hits um, and in the tournament I didn't get hit in the head much I tend to guard that fairly well and people were using weren't really swinging too hard so it was not that much of an issue so safety wise I think this is really great and it's sturdy the materials are really nice my only issue with it is when we have the mask and the overlay on like I said some of those rear weighted stances or if you need to turn your head with you and you have your shoulder facing uh, the opponent that can get a little bit tricky. Overall, I would really recommend it. Um, I think it will stand up. and We'll see, I suppose, but I've been using it for a while now and it got me through a tournament. Very happy with it. Thank you all for coming by the channel. Please uh, share this review around if you think anybody might find it interesting. Please click like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Be good to each other and ciao.